from Russia. He says, I still don't understand you, Pastor. Can you please explain again why masturbation is not a sin? Because without imagination, there's no masturbation. Jesus said, if you look at a woman lustfully, you have already committed adultery. When one is masturbating, he imagines an evil thought, which makes him to sin. So, sir, what do you say? I don't think it's a question of what do I say. It's what does the word say? Timothy Christos is asking, can you explain why masturbation is not a sin? Because without imagination, there is no masturbation. Maybe the first thing I'd like to ask is, um, what is masturbation in the first case? Secondly, are you, do you practice it? Or have you spoken to those who do? Because you're telling us um, how it works. So, the important thing is, what is sin? That's the very first thing. What is sin? What I find in many Christians is that not many even have an understanding of the concept of sin. What is sin? Now, I have a, there's a teaching and um, this teaching is in good detail. The title is The Concept of Sin. You need it. It will help you understand what the Word of God calls sin. Remember, sin is not what we say it is. Sin is what God says it is. Sin is what God says it is. And that's very important. And you said something here in your question. You said, without imagination... There's no masturbation. Jesus said, if you look at a woman lustfully, you have already committed adultery. Okay. Now, um, there's a second question that's coming that's connected to this one. I'll read that, then I'll answer both of you. This is from Parabranda from Zambia. He says, Dear Pastor Chris, I'm one of the many believers that have been inspired and transformed by your ministry. I now know who I am in Christ. Now, I've been disturbed by news that is going around the internet that you said that masturbation is not a sin. I would like to hear it from you. Did you actually say masturbation is not a sin? <laughs> and why? Wonderful. Why are you concerned about whether I said it or I didn't say it? Well, the, the question is, what does the Word of God say? Have you ever studied the Word for yourself? Now, whatever you think, the first thing you should do is go to the Word of God and study for yourself. Now, let me put it this way. If a man stole bread, a loaf of bread, from a shop and ate it, does that mean that eating of bread is sin? Because he stole bread from a shop and he ate it. Was where, was, where was his wrong? Did he go wrong because he ate bread? Does that mean that eating of bread is, is wrong? The problem is not the eating of bread. The problem is that he stole the bread that he ate. You have to understand the word of God. You, you said... He brought out something here in connection with what Jesus said, that whosoever looketh on a woman lustfully, and Jesus actually said that. He said, had already committed adultery in his heart. Great. That means the sin was committed in the heart. So if you say that imagination goes with masturbation, where is the sin? The sin is therefore your imagination of sin. See, now, if you, let me read you the words of Jesus in St. Matthew's Gospel. And I want you to listen to this very carefully because it will help you. St. Matthew's Gospel, chapter 15, from verse 16. 
Jesus said, are ye also without understanding? Do not ye yet understand that whatsoever entereth in at the mouth goeth into the belly and is cast into the draught? But those, those things which proceed out of the mouth come forth from the heart and they defile the man? For out of the heart proceed evil thoughts, murders, adulteries, fornications, thefts, false witness, blasphemies. These are the things which defile a man. But to eat with unwashing hands defileth not a man. You know what Jesus is saying? He says, your sin came out of your heart. It's not what you did with your hands. That's the problem. It's what caused whatever you did. That means your sin begins from your heart. So have this understanding. Jesus lets you know. It's not what you did with your hand that's the problem. It's what you did with your heart. You can have these imaginations while reading the book. You can have these wrong imaginations while you're eating your food. So the evil conceptions of your heart is where you've got a problem. So what do you clean, your hands or your heart? Your heart. So um, what I want you to do in, in helping yourself, because you're not going to accept something because somebody said, so you're going to have to know the Word of God for yourself. And I said, place an order for the teaching titled The Concept of Sin, the audio, um, the audio CD. The Concept of Sin is the title. It teaches you in the Word of God from the Old Testament to the New Testament, everything you've got to know what the Bible says about sin. What is sin? What does God think sin is? How does the Bible define sin? How do we deal with sin? It's all in that teaching. So that will help you.